just got done watching Blue Beetle. This is the brand new DC movie coming out this week to theaters. And well, you should absolutely go watch this movie because it's fantastic. It's very self-contained to anything else. It's not setting up anything else in this entire DC universe or the next DC universe or whatever they're doing. But what it does is it puts the characters, its family, front-facing, full force, and that's its focus. And that's why this movie is not just heartwarming, but it's truly amazing. And I think it's one of the most special comic book films that we've gotten in a, quite a while. And I know I've probably said that quite a bit, but there's a different essence of specialness to this film. Of course, it's the first live action Latino superhero going onto the big screen. That's awesome. I love to see that. Primarily, the entire film is very much made up of Latin culture. And I love when films can infuse that special culture inside of it. And I think Blue Beetle got me emotional in quite a few different ways that I was not expecting to be. But I walked out of this film just going, wow, a special movie for a special character like Blue Beetle, who, you know, honestly, like 10 years ago, I barely knew who this character was. I liked Ted Cord. I liked growing up with that character. But who is this new version of Blue Beetle? This wasn't the version that I grew up on. And after playing Injustice 2, I just sat there going, this character is awesome. <laughs> dove into the comics thought the character was even cooler there and yeah he's a badass and they did everything they could to adapt this into such like a almost perfect manner and if we're just looking at the character itself it's a perfect adaptation from the comics to live action for that i definitely have so much love for blue beetle and i cannot wait to hear your guys thoughts on this film so make sure to leave your thoughts down below are you planning on seeing it this weekend if you haven't bought your tickets yet you absolutely should make plans to go see it this weekend. I, you know, I really love this movie, like I said, and I definitely can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts. So make sure as well to hit that like and subscribe button before you leave this video because we got tons of movie content coming up on a daily basis. You now we're let's dive into this film and talk about it. So what's Blue Beetle about if you don't know? Well, it's about an alien relic that chooses Jaime Reyes to be its symbiotic host, kind of like Venom, who bestows this teenager with a suit of armor that's capable of extraordinary and unpredictable powers, forever changing his destiny as he becomes the superhero, Blue Beetle. Like I said, I love this movie. I got a lot of pros, so let's start with those. And really much what I really want to focus on first is the culture of this film. I found that to me the most special part about that. That and the fact that the film is not focused on world building, which usually would be an issue for me with something new like this in an origin story, but it gave just enough for you to understand what it was. And it never really needed to give any more than that. Because for me, what it really does so well is you come to meet the Reyes family and instantly you fall in love with them and you want to continue to hang out with them for hours on end. Every moment you got with the family, I couldn't not sit there and just not smile or not laugh at the enjoyment that you have in there. And you know, my fiance comes from the Latin culture. So a lot of the stuff that I got to see in here just kind of reminded me of her family. And, I, and it just was this like big bottle and bundle of warmth and love and family. And I think when we talk about family in a movie, I know a lot of us joke in about the Fast and Furious franchise. And, you know, there is family in there. But this film has the definition of how to build up a family so well in it. And I love that part. And then again, it's the culture aspect. It's experiencing a culture that very much holds itself on its chest of this movie in every sort of way. The language the jokes that I even had to ask my fiance about, like, okay, do you know what that is? Oh, okay, so that's this. And there's so many cute little moments in there that I can only imagine people who did grow up in the culture like this are going to have so many little inside jokes that they're gonna be like, oh, I get that, I get that. But every single thing just continued to make me smile. And I love how they were able to build that up in so many different lights. Alongside that, it is really much the performances. With Sholo, who I've mentioned that I love in Cobra Kai, when he came in as Jaime Reyes, I, I sat there and I was like, wow, he, he's doing a good job. But it's as you get deeper into the film and you see what this character really has to give. 
And while Cobra Kai is not the deepest of shows, I've been wanting to see more of a range from him. And I'm very happy to say that the, there's one moment in particular in here where I said, yeah, he can be a movie star in every way. I hope to God, I know James Gunn has said that we are going to continue to see Blue Beetle. Sholo is Blue Beetle for this world. I, I hope so. I don't want to lose out on that. I, I What perfect casting he was. And, you know, the rest of the cast is fantastic as well. Bruno, I thought, was a really big standout in here. I thought she was fabulous. I loved her relationship with Reyes. And, of course, as the whole family comes into here. Susan Sarandon, I thought, was good. Um, I just don't think they used her enough. We'll talk a little bit more about that in my cons. Aul in here, who plays Conrad Carpax, I thought was badass as the look. And there is an actual deeper emotional crux to him that has a great parallel to the Reyes family. Just wish they focused on that a little bit more. Again, we'll talk about the villains a little bit more as we get to the con. Very much so, Alipida Carrello, Drena, Barraza, Balisa, Escabado, and of course, Damian Alakazar. A lot of these. Every single one of them will be talked about because they're all standouts to the entire family. But the one that everyone's going to walk out of this film talking about is George Lopez. George Lopez as Uncle Rudy Reyes is one of the best castings that you could have possibly ever made for this. And every single joke he makes absolutely lands. Does it get silly at times? Absolutely. Did my fiance look at me and goes, this kind of reminds me of Spy Kids. And then did I think of that too? Absolutely. When it comes down to certain gadgets and certain essences to the family, yes which primarily can remind you some early Robert Rodriguez when it comes down to that. And that's kind of what I really dug as well because I love early Robert Rodriguez. I love when he can go very brutal with certain aspects, whether it's when the action, but then he can also always tie it back to family. And he can tie it back to some of the more loony kind of aspects as well. And those moments all made me smile. Alongside all of that, this is a comic book movie. You've seen the trailers. You know you're going to get action. And the Blue Beetle action is phenomenal. I thought they did such a great job. And I'm very picky when it comes down to action movies and a lot of fight, hand-to-hand -hand fight choreograph. And I thought they nailed each and every one of the moments. You could always see what was going on. You were always just kind of sitting there waiting to see what the next move or the next weapon that Blue Beetle would pull out. And... And as you learn more of what Blue Beetle's suit can absolutely do, it's absolutely awesome to see in the end of the day. I found that every single action sequence got better and better than the last one. And I think, truly enough, the director here, Angel Manuel Soto, I cannot wait to see what he does next because he has such an eye for these kind of sort of looks. And whether it even was also the cinematographer for those action sequences, as well as all the other moments. There's this vibrancy to it all that when it pops, it pops. And when it needs to be more to the low to the ground, it absolutely takes that. And I liked how this film kind of touched on in little aspects of the changing of cities, taking away from different cultures and different avenues and also speaking to that. This is a film that is a lot deeper than you would than you could have ever imagined from what the trailers were selling you. oh another superhero dc film it doesn't really sell any of the family aspect and how touching the family is it doesn't really sell on the coming of age story about a young adult who graduates college and thinks he has the world understood and it's not it's a completely different world it's these different aspects and these, these different ideas that instantly when you see how this film handles them it makes you smile it makes you laugh. It makes you not want to stop watching this movie. And I could just watch tens, thousands of these Blue Beetle movies. It's just such an adorable character. And as I've mentioned, it all comes back to how deep this film can get. Parallels to each and every one of the characters and very much a thematics of family and how much family truly means to these characters. And that's what Blue Beetle is a winner on. It's because of the family. It's because it puts that family front first. It doesn't focus on the mythology. It doesn't focus on world building. It doesn't focus on who the next Superman or the next Batman is. It doesn't even focus on cameos. There's no cameos in here. Sorry, there isn't. I don't, I don't count that as a spoiler. But this is a very self-contained movie, and thank God it is. As we dive into the rest of this review, though, I do want to talk about my mixed aspects. I talked about a little bit about the mythology. This isn't mixed for me, but I could see some people wanting a little bit more information about the suit, a little bit more 
about the Blue Beetle and kind of where it comes from. And I would imagine if this film gets sequels or they touch on it a little bit, you'll probably see that in the future. It didn't bother me at all whatsoever. It was kind of honestly like an afterthought after I had left the movie. And as for issues with the film, I really only have an issue with the villains. I found that the villains, and again, it's very hard to balance your heroes and your villains, specifically in origin stories. I just kind of wish the villains were a little bit more developed. You can definitely tell that there was a lot there with Conrad Carpax, and I thought this character was very, actually, quite interesting. Specifically in the third act, when you start to learn a little bit more about him, wish they would have touched on that earlier. Susan Sarandon, I thought was fine as Victoria Cord. I think she's an amazing actress, but honestly, I don't think they really gave much to her in this. It's a very one-note performance. And as for The Last Con, it's a very predictable movie. Its story beats very much harken back and are throwbacks to some early 2000s action films, like I mentioned, such as Spy Kids and maybe even a flair of like the late 2000s films like Iron Man. You can definitely feel all of those instances there. It didn't bother me completely, but I definitely knew where the film was going from point A to point B to point C to the even very much the very end credit scenes, which there are two of them. The first one is important. I guess, again, I don't know what's going to continue in the next DC Universe, but I guess it's important. And the second one is more of a fun gag. So take that as what you will. Honestly, Blue Beetle brought a huge smile to my face, laughter out of me, and even a tear to my eye. This movie is surprisingly very emotional. Just be warned on that. I did not expect to get a tear in my eye, and I was starting to get a little bit choked up at one point, but it's a gigantic throwback to 2000 era filmmaking with a beautiful Latin culture mixed all into it. Come for Blue Beetle and be ready to fall in love with Sholo and the Reyes family such a huge win for dc it breaks my heart how this film is projecting no matter what happens to this film at the box office this film is fantastic and it will find its audience and also the action is so good i had a blast with blue beetle i cannot wait to hear your guys thoughts down below so with all that said i'm gonna give this film an a minus loved it i love this movie i was just expecting to really enjoy it or to like it but i walked out just going damn that was freaking fantastic and i can't wait to hear your guys thoughts so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more thank you so much again for watching this and of course, until next time, stay classy.